Hi everyone, welcome back. Arctic Expo 2023, episode 8. Well, 2,103 miles so far up to Karuna. When we got here, we had a look about. There's some impressive sort of snow moving machines kicking about. They must get some serious weather up here. So once we checked into the airport, told them where we'd come from, this, that and the other. We then got a taxi down into Karuna. We stopped the night in a lovely hotel, the Scandic in Karuna. Um, we had a look about. Uh, the town's been rebuilt as most of it has been affected by subsidence. So there's a whole new town going on. We had a walk about to see what was going on. There was a big range of snowmobiles for sale. And then we ended up in the bar and we had, let's say, quite a few drinks. Back in the aircraft, warming up after a day on the ground due to bad weather. We are off to Outer International in Norway. Uh, it's about 167 miles to do. Uh, should take us about an hour and 45. This airport is absolutely massive and it takes us several minutes to taxi up to the hold point for 03. Unfortunately we've got no sound on this video, the GoPro's doing its own thing again. Here we are at the hold point for 03 and just waiting for clearance from the tower. Clearance approved and now lining up for 03 and away we go. Norway here we come. And it's looking very promising, it looks like we're going to be able to see where we're going on this flight which will be quite a novel experience after the last three. Once we're in the air, we're quite busy for a start. So we're in um, Karuna's airspace, so we're under their control. And then once we get out of Karuna's airspace, we then swap over onto Sweden control. and We get a basic service until we get to the, until we get quite close to uh, Finland. Uh, we then swap over onto Helsinki control and get a basic service through their airspace and then we're, when we're five minutes away from Norway's border we then swap over onto Polaris control and they look after us all the way until we get to Alta. Uh, once we get to Alta we make contact with outer and then we're under their control. So there's quite a bit going on. It's a shame you don't get to listen to all the radio calls. Uh, but I'm going to put some music on and just sit back and enjoy the view.
it's been an absolutely stunning flight. Um, coming, how the terrains changed from Sweden through Finland and then into Norway. Norway is quite rocky. Uh, we had a little bit of mist over the very high ground. We were up at sort of four and a half thousand feet, I think, at one point. A bit misty. But now we're approaching outer. And outer sits right down on the water's edge. It's um, The runway has been sort of reclaimed into the field, so they must have sort of filled it with rock. Um, it's a stunning approach. Very special. Outer is what's going to be known as our base camp for our attempt at the summit at the North Cape. So we're intending to fly from Outer up to the North Cape and then back to Outer uh, when the weather allows us to. Flying into these international airports now is almost starting to feel quite normal. The guys in the tower always receive us well, they're happy for us to be there. The staff greet us and treat us well. They are interested in our journey, the fact that we've flown from England to their airport in a little flex wing microlight. The guy with the signal boards waves us in and brings us to a stop over near the fuel pumps. We get fueled up so that we're ready uh, for the next part of the journey, which is going to be up to the North Cape. We then get tied down. We're not quite sure how long we're going to be here. It doesn't look flyable tomorrow, uh, but we'll check the weather out in the morning see whether we're going to go for it. The airport's absolutely massive, but deserted. We're the only ones here. We're getting a taxi and we're up to out of town. We're going to sell something to eat. A couple of drinks. Beer's expensive, £12 a pint. Here's an interesting sign. Came across. Different directions. 
Join us in episode 9 when we head for the North Cape. Thanks for watching.